Here we show a new bell to be joined using the full strand method of splicing. Before you begin the splicing procedure, you'll need to secure the belt on the conveyor with some plastic cable ties, as shown here. This should be done on the left and right sides of the belt near the edges of the conveyor. This will hold the belt in place once you've got it aligned and the drive components and in the proper position to run on your conveyor. It is very important that the splice strands be properly aligned with the other strands. A good way to double check is to ensure the end loops of the splicing strand are in the same position and alignment as the end loops of the belt. If you're using a secure edge belt, you'll need to open the end loops on the splicing strand with your needle nose pliers so that you can fit them through the secure loops on the belt. When you are sure that your strand is right side up and matches the alignment of the strands in the belt, Firmly grasp the belt strand edges and bend it away from you as shown. Then insert both ends of your splice strand through the two spaces on either side of the center belt, on the joint end of the belt. Once you're through those spaces, put both ends of your splice strand through center space of the opposite joint end of the belt, then pull the strand through until the center space locks. Now straighten the wire, either using your needle nose pliers or your wire straightening tool before moving to the next space. Now bend one end of the wire up and thread it around the Z-band of the next space of the wire in the joint end closest to you. It is important that you never bend the wire at a Z-bend point. This will weaken the strands and make your splice fail prematurely. Finally, bend the splice strand back towards the center and pull it around the Z-bend next to the center space. Pull it through until it locks and straighten it again. Repeat this movement until you go all the way across the strand to the end loop. It really is a lot like weaving. Take your time and once again, be careful not to kink the wire or make a crook or a twist near the Z-band. It is also very important to straighten the strands of each space and joint before moving to the next space. Now the edge, watch carefully, will do it slowly. Grasp the end loop of the splice strand with your needle nose pliers. Connect the splice strand's edge loop to the belt edge loop on the far edge. 
Now pull the splice edge loop around the end loop of the near edge. You're almost done. Just go back and repeat the previous steps going in the opposite direction, weaving to the other side edge of the belt. We strongly suggest that you straighten the strands as you go. And once again, we've completed the splice. We're not making this suggestion just to be neat or compulsive. A bent strand will wear on both the belt and the drive components and can cause a break in the belt at or near your just completed splice and even seriously damage your conveyor, setting you up for major problems later on. 